Okay, fantastic voyage. Looks a little aneurysmal there, and as we know, this conference is the only conference in the United States specifically dedicated to intravascular imaging and physiology. We're here to learn more about imaging. This kind of imaging technique is really changing the patient outcome. It's actually very fascinating and will lead to more collaboration. To be a little more up to date on the technology. Both physiology and imaging are essential for a modern day practice. To achieve the best results in the patients. Great opportunity for all of us to get together with other physicians from around the country. The pre-eminent conference in the field of intravascular imaging. To transmit that information to doctors around the world to help them do the great job that we're doing here at the Heart Center. This is not something that you know takes a month or two to implement. It probably is. More and more people realize that the procedures we do now in the coronaries are becoming increasingly complex. And we need better tools to understand how to treat these patients um, and by what we call optimizing PCI, uh, which we do at St. Francis routinely. Um, we image patients, we do physiology in those patients, and we have a very, very good indication what the optimal guidance is for these complex procedures and how to achieve the best results uh, in those patients. The MLA here is 1.05. The last few years we gained momentum in creating a message that resonates with more and more physicians and this year we had a record crowd, now it's more recognized as an important topic and people want to learn about it. This is an area that's literally exploded over the last five to seven years. It's been driven by trial data now showing how important physiology is and determining what lesions to treat and how it makes angioplasty more effective. And also on the imaging side, we've had intravascular ultrasound for years, but on top of that now with the advent of OCT, which has 10 times the resolution, we have now hit our stride in, in what I consider almost a perfect imaging modality. There's area there, and that's unique in the, uh, in the vessel. That really allows us to automate things and do things in an incredibly rapid and accurate manner that we never had an opportunity uh, before. When they talk about precision PCI, what people actually mean is it really takes the guesswork out. The addition of this actually simplifies it and actually makes the procedure much more efficient and it looks like we're better long-term outcomes. And it makes it very, very neat so you don't have any overlap of any other markers there. That's all I look at. And I Over the last four to five years, we've instituted a type of technology that has put us in the forefront of interventional cardiology. We have tremendous expertise at St. Francis in optical coherence tomography and intravascular physiology to help us get what we call precision angioplasty. We've been working on it for four or five years, and we're actually the world's leader in that technology. And we're helping teach the rest of the world, working with other world leaders. This conference puts everybody together to transmit that information could have. I know that personally. When an interventionalist previously did an angioplasty on your mom or dad, he would look up at the angiogram and say, I think I need this type of stent, this long, this wide. We no longer think what we're going to use. With the computerized technology we have, we know what we're going to use to get the best results for our patients and their families.